And from there, we should begin to talk and to roll it up again from the beginning where we are now again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it appears to be happening. So mm -hmm. we, somehow we have found each other and now we're connecting to one mm -hmm. another, even though mm -hmm. we're a small group. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Uh, yeah. Great. And yeah. we have to bring these groups together, you know. Well, I don't feel like I have to do anything. If anything wants to happen, yes. it will happen yeah. through me. I, yeah. I, I stop trying to make things happen, to be honest yes, with you. Right. Yeah. You're right. But I, I think the tendency is to go for it. You know, yeah, I understand what you mean. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, trying to put things together didn't take me anywhere. So. Yes. But so, the point, the point is Saratustra, it is already together. We are in this togetherness, you know? Yes. We, this yes, is we point. are. And yes. here, here we are, here mm. we're connecting mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. one another. And uh, we meditate for half an hour and then we share our hearts and our ideas, our views of how we see things and how we feel like we're planted on this planet and what is our parts, our mission, what it appears to be. Yes. So, but I agree with you and it's uh, well said. And I think what is, what is also very important that when this hour now finish, when we off our computers, we hold this connection, this is our nature. We see meditation as a very exclusive thing, but it is always there. This is what is very important because this is the nourishing what we can give to one another, mm. to one another and to the whole thing that this will, will blossom like a lotus flower, you know? Right, right. Yes. Well, it always begins with ourselves. So mm -hmm. it always starts with, where I'm at with myself and and then it just moves on from there and we will see where this thing wants to go definitely it's not in my hands and I'm one of the particles of it and we shall see where it wants to go but wherever it goes I know that is in very good hands and is exactly where it needs to be. Forget about where it goes. Again, I'm not even interested in what, what where it goes. Uh, I'm interested in right now. I mean, that's the only place that I have and I live and it is exactly where it needs to be in this moment because this moment is perfect. And I wouldn't change it with anything else. Anybody else has anything to share with us? We're are getting close to our final moments. I appreciate uh, both comments, both of you, Rachel and Andrea. Thank you for sharing uh, your heart, your thoughts uh, with, with us all. Just, just know that, that I do appreciate that. Just be aware and just keep one thing in mind that all is well. And all is well is just not a sentence. It's not something to say that to be cool. You know, oh, all is well, all is well. Because people say that all is well. All is well as long as everything goes my way. As long as things go my way, all is well. Everything's fine. Wow, it's amazing. It's great. No, all is well. Specifically when things don't go my way. All is well when I don't get what I want. All is well because 
Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, Lord God, our beloved Creator, that which has created the existence. And I'm a part of that. We're all part of it. But that intelligence that runs the show, that intelligence that turns the day into night and night to day, that intelligence that turns the seasons, that summer, spring turns to summer, summer turns to autumn and winter that is working always that intelligence that makes this planet that we beloved planet earth that we love our home turns around itself in such a high speed because it's turning around itself in a very fast speed but you don't feel it and it's as it's turning around itself, it's turning around the sun. There's an intelligence that is operating this and nothing is running into one another. The planets, one doesn't spin its way out of its path and gets lost in the cosmos. Everything is working clockwork. That intelligence that runs your body, your digestion, your nervous system, your hormones, everything is working. And you don't do anything about it. You sleep at night and your body is cleaning itself, rejuvenate, rejuvenating, does all elimination, everything happens. And you don't do anything of it. There is something much, much bigger than you and I. And my consciousness and my limited awareness that runs the show. I call it Her Majesty, the Supreme Soul, the beloved God, the Creator, Consciousness, Yahweh, Krishna. Allah, Ahura Mazda, whatever name you like to, the great spirit, the grand spirit, as Native Americans call it, the spirit, the grand spirit. That which runs the show knows what it's doing. And when I say all is well means that I trust in that. It knows what it's doing. So all is well. It knows what it's doing. And it's taking us in the right direction. Even though you may not feel it, you may not at time experience it, it doesn't matter. You incorporate that in your psyche, you work on it, and you start recognizing it. It doesn't matter if you are doing spiritual work, or you're not doing spiritual work, you're helping raising the vibrations of the planet, or you're just into your own thing. That is doing the work. And it's, it knows what it's doing. So recognize that in your life, in existence, and trust in that. And stay in this place. Stay here. Here is where the pearls are. Here is where the gold is. Don't go outside of here. Don't go into a fantasy of future civilizations. 